and further, that you will faithfully perform the duties of the office of mayor in the city of Las Vegas, Nevada, on which you are about to enter, so help you God. Looking back at the last no, nearly 13 years since Mayor Carolyn Goodman was sworn in by former mayor and her husband, Oscar Goodman, the changes across the city have moved in what feels like lightning speed. Not only downtown, where a focus was placed on revitalization, but across the city with new master planned communities new parks and open spaces, public art, which has become prominent in the arts district and beyond, and small and large business owners opening their doors in record numbers in all six city wards. And overseeing all of those changes has been Mayor Carolyn Goodman, who is now termed out and about to hand the city over to a new mayor a little bit later this year. We had a chance to sit down and talk with her about the good and sometimes challenging times in her nearly 13 years at the helm. And we also talked to her about the past not just as her time as mayor, but from 1964 when she and former mayor Oscar Goodman decided to move to the city of Las Vegas. I wanted to do it again, where I'd like to go back. The body doesn't know it, and it keeps telling me this aches, that aches, but the reality is it has been the best thing Oscar and I ever did. And how did we know? I mean, so many people sadly go through life and step in one mud puddle after another, have such unfortunate luck. And for Oscar and me, it's just been a dream come true. I mean, to actually tolerate him for all these years. I mean, we're married now uh, 62 years. And uh, I think, oh my goodness. And still, and just, it's so wonderful and such fun. And we've had such fabulous time in this community. The people have been grand. And that heartbeat of those who really care, want to do something, it's just been beautiful. I asked her why she even decided to run for mayor and why she waited so long to announce. Well, it turns out her decision to run was born out of her and Oscar's legacy not the legacy you might think she's talking about. When he was termed out and we started to watch the news, 17 people had already signed up. And our four children, who were young adults, young at the time, said, Mom, you have to run. Every one of these people may be very qualified, but they're going to take all of Dad's vision and put them aside. And you are the one that will continue on because you understand what he sees and you've lived here so long. And so I waited to the last minute. It was a Wednesday when we finally uh, did sign up. That's right. The family needed to be on board. Now, when she's referring to carrying out what Mayor Oscar had put into motion, she's referring in large part to cleaning up the core of our city, the downtown, which was tired and boarded up when Mayor Oscar Goodman took office in 1999. And then, of course, had the good brain to figure out we need land and we're sort of landlocked to find the brownfield that became this Symphony Park and the Smith Center. Um, those were the things, those fundamental pieces that were so incredible. I asked her about some of the biggest challenges while in office, and of course she mentioned the COVID pandemic and the hardship it caused our businesses and our schools. It had to shut down due to a state mandate, but she said nothing compared to what this community went through October 1st, 2017. The mass shooting at the Harvest Festival showed the worst in humanity, but she adds it also showed the best of humanity in the days that followed. But that was, that was forever. That was forever like 9-11. It was our 9-11, it was horrible, but it did show how phenomenal uh, people are and that we could create, that the people could touch and feel and want to do something, that magnificent uh, healing garden. And then the way that the Golden Knights came and made that their very first game, a night of, of solemnness and cherishing, um, wow. In unforgettable. We talked about much more, and you can see the entire interview on the KCLV TV YouTube page, but I wanted to end on an optimistic note. So I asked her how she and Mayor Oscar Goodman managed to get so much accomplished with our various city councils and the incredible city staff in times that can certainly feel very divisive. She said they did it by keeping their eye on the ball and what's important, that being the city and knowing the art of compromise, something she learned as a mom of four. You do not raise four 
people that close in age without learning how to mediate. And so I learned very early in life, and that probably is the best lesson I ever had. Nobody gets 100%. So if you can get everybody to give up 25%, then you can get um, a, a common decision to do something. And probably that's been the most important thing to me because it really isn't ever, in my opinion, that's the way I was raised. It's not about me. It's about us. There are always people in this world that have the spark of passion and intelligence and openness and caring and really are good, compassionate people. You can never kill that. You can't do it. Hi, everyone. I'm Nancy Byrne. I hope you liked that story. For more great stories about the city of Las Vegas, don't forget to click on that box.